Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. So, in the last episode, we made it here to the Crystal Caverns, or I guess technically we did that the previous episode, but we made it through most of... I wouldn't even say most of, half of maybe? A third half of uh, the Crystal Caverns, and I still don't have a key. So, I need to give you guys an explanation what was up with that kind of huge gap between uploads. There's been things going on in my life, and that I'll talk about once this is not on the screen. It's so dark, I can't see anything. I want to hold the candle, please. But Natalie, you just drop it. You're trembling. I got this. Just stay close to me and we'll be fine. There doesn't seem to be any monsters nearby. Sure. So, like I was saying, things have been less than fantastic and amazing in my life. So, first off, I got sick. Then, some other people got sick. And people kept getting sick. Um, my grandmother's been sick with a few different things, a few different pretty serious problems, twice this past couple months. And there's just a lot more happening. A close family member died. I keep getting sick. I just... It hasn't been a good time for me. I've been dealing with some depression issues in addition to getting sick. And then finally, when I was finally feeling better, Cassie came to visit and we recorded Kindergarten, which is now uploading. And that was a lot of fun and I had amazing times while she was here. And then there was post-Cassie depression because she left. <laughs> yeah, it's how it is, but it's whatever. I'm gonna light the torch over here. That should help us see a bit better. So as you can see, the more torches you light, the better you can see. And if you light all of them, you actually get a special gift. It's called a chest. So we get the ninja hood. No special effect, but increases accuracy and evade and gives you resistance to electricity. And I don't know what those are. Candy cane and shuriken. Sure you can. Alright, first time back in a while. Um, uh, I'm gonna have Lance scan. A coal bat, lovely. A common flying enemy which uses dark attacks, it has high evade. Uh, it's weak to thunder, okay, so it's weak to electricity, it's weak to wind, it's weak to poison, as well as light, of course. So, poison, uh, actually, what am I doing? Poison, you say? Light, you say? Well, I'm blind! And that one's dead anyway. Uh... Alright, not quite dead. Dang. And we're not gonna die from this battle, so it doesn't matter that much. The only problem is the accuracy and them buffing each other. What a horrible sound. It even lowers defense. Well, that thing's dead. <laughs> Wolf Dog. Level 8. It just wants to protect its territory. It uses ice attacks and can buff other foes. It's weak to light, poison, and fire. Poison, you say? Light, you say? Nothing, because I just wanted him to attack. Oh yeah, and they can also freeze your guys, which the only way to cure freezing is to change their health, either damage them or heal them, but it really doesn't matter since we're about to kill this one anyway. Bottled Darkness and Wool. Also, I never commented last time, but uh, yeah, Anna's hair with that pin in is honestly adorable. I love it. <laughs> I love how they change your appearance. Snowballs. Pretty common and not very useful. Ice cream and milk. Um, I think I'm gonna change the party order around though. We're also gonna forge for a second because, give me a minute. All right, and we're ready. Poison, uh, wait, actually. Yeah, poison you say. I 
I'm just gonna save that for an actually difficult battle. And she's cursed. Defense and magic defense decrease every turn. Holy damage taken is increased by 50%. Revive Matt. And that enemy is stunned. Also, I feel really foolish after editing a bunch of the things from last time. Like, I was talking about using a skill during a battle, like, oh, I should use Earth, not I and not Water. Proceeds to use Water for the rest of the battle. <laughs> Oh, this guy's probably stunned. Like, it only, he, he, like, he's probably stopped. Like, it's only immune to stun. Totally is not just immune to, you know, stun, because stopping is stunning. I just had a lot of foolish moments the last couple of episodes that I didn't realize until later. Ooh. Found the skill Ice Cold. Very high damage. May stagger targets hit twice. Liquid Ice and very. A rare form of ice only found in warm climates, as well as ice cream. So we don't have a hammer, so we can't go in there. I'm actually just going to head back here rather than wait for Matt to heal. Because that is literally a full heal, and it's one screen away. Alright! Battle time. Poison, you say? <laughs> I really enjoy doing that. Like, probably overly so. Um... Okay, I didn't actually expect to kill it, but sure. They're all dead except the friend dog. Friend dog is weak to poison, you say? Yeah, I'm not very kind. Wool and fine fur. We got Ninja Gear, doubles the power of attacking items, hand bombs, and snowballs. Alright. Achoo! It's getting really cold! Yep, Lifehall is a cold place. It's always snowing there. Maybe we're getting closer. Now that I think about it, our equipment shop is, was selling some good clothes for cold climates. There's a slime cat up ahead. Maybe we should take a quick break and visit Greenwood Village. Before I do that, I'm actually going to light all these. Actually, I'm not sure I will go back and visit yet. I guess I'll use this so I have the ability to use it later. And now attack. Okay, so first off, poison, you say? Um... I mean, it just makes sense to use him this turn. Natalie finally knows good fire magic, so I can use her. So, these are ice idols. Energetic but weak tundra enemy. Uses thund uh, ice attacks, not thunder. Weak to fire, explosions, wind, electricity, and earth. See? Insta-kill. Alright. Uh... Brown bear, let's try to kill it this turn. Speak to fire, so we use fire. Fire, fire, yeah! And it's dead. And no legs coming over here to kill that thing, and that thing is still stopped. Alright, uh switch over to her so she can use heal more. Not that she needs to use heal more, but, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's dead. I just wanted to get our HP up a bit so I didn't have to wait. Found snowballs, beer, and cake. Ooh, more new enemies. 
Um. I'll actually use his turn to do this. Okay, frozen eyes, a cold floating eye, it uses ice attacks. Weak to fire, explosions, thunder, earth, but it's resistant, it's actually immune and it absorbs ice and water and is 50% resistant to poison. Well, a crit killed it. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, kill this ice idol. Use heal more just to get our HP back to full. Um, does she have any skills at all that work? She's mostly not good here, actually. Uh, wait, she has Gaia Seed. <laughs> it missed. And they're all dead. Okay. These are giant ice idols. They're level 13. Same stats and all that. Alright, well, poison, because they're not resistant. Uh, let's see if she can kill one of these. Obviously not. Alright, so it's pretty much guaranteed that he's not killing that other one, so... May as well kill it. Wow, these are resistant. And we're done. Glass, solid water, rare form of water only found in cold climates, and wool. Alright. Straight into the next battle. Because I'm obviously some kind of masochist. You're gonna change over to Matt and have him attack. Okay. No one's to kill, that's good. Alright, and no freezing, that's also good. Oh well, I'm not doing well on MP. I mean, sure, why not? Fire, fire, yeah! Really, it's not dead. Leave me alone, attack someone else! And that one's dead. Thank you, no legs, that's really appreciated, actually. Oh. Eh. Uh. Eh. Fire, fire, yeah! And dead. Salt water, liquid ice, and rainbow gems, which... Okay, let's upgrade this staff. And I can almost upgrade it again. I just need a topaz, which I'm not sure where to get, but it's probably from a boss or a rare drop from an enemy. OK, 
Okay, the Frost Badge increases ice and freeze resistance. Liquid ice and donut. Let's see if we can't upgrade that. Uh, we can't. We need more solid water. But I can equip it. I mean, we could give it to our tank. I think that makes a decent amount of sense. We could also give it to Natalie, but until she actually starts, you know, being frozen to things, we're just gonna give it to Matt. Oh, this ice, it's so sparkly! Probably... oh wait, never mind. I was about to say I probably should have waited until my MP was back, but apparently I took a while there, so it already is all back. Fire, fire, yeah! Wow, even resisting it, it almost died. Sold water and glass. I'm starting to think this door won't open. I should probably get out of here before I get lost. Huh, it opened. Don't know how that happened. I think you should leave the treasure for me, yeah? Oh. Fat chance, lady. We got a copper key, steel plates, and glass. Solid water, liquid ice, and the frost sprite pet. Targets all foes. It's a high chance of freezing and debuffing evade. Alright, before we do anything, we're heading back up here, because there's a, you know, copper chest over here. Found lollipop, glass, and talismans. We still don't have hammers, so we can't break those things back there. Oh cool, this cavern's massive! Oh, this ice is so pretty, I wish more people could see this. There's still tons of paths that are blocked off. It's so dark that we wouldn't know we wouldn't know if we were going around in circles. I wonder if you even know where you're taking us. Achoo! Alright, let's light up this room a bit. Oop. Got another copper key, cake, and crisps. You can tell he's British. Okay, I don't have a hammer, so I can't get to that one over there, which means I can't light up the room properly. But I can kill this thing! Um, I guess just murder all of you as fast as possible. Kill these so they can't watch a pincher attack. Well, that's unfortunate. Sure, Kiwi. There we go, exactly what I was hoping for. You can attack to hurt. You can use attacks to hurt enemies. Defeat the enemies to win. What? I feel like we should have got that a very long time ago if we didn't actually get that a very long time ago. Fire! Fire! Yeah! All right. Poison on you. Use the scan bot. Alright, Ice Elemental. A powerful monster which uses ice attacks. It is completely weak to fire. It is. you know, it absorbs both ice and water, and it's weak to dark. Um. It's wet though. Thunder and ice damage taken is increased by 50%. Fire damage is reduced by 50%. So I think it would actually be a better idea to use a thunder skill. Our meat shield is down immediately. Need a res! Out of mana. Ah! Did I drink too much or something? I don't remember anything. I mean, no poison resistances. And I guess fire. Poison! 
And it's dead. Solid water and liquid ice. A lance leveled up from that. So, I've been getting a lot of these. Let's check it out. Can I upgrade anything? I could totally do a bamboo trap by one point. Uh, I mean, I use this skill all the time, so that's like 150 extra damage, potentially. Um, what does he use a lot in this area? Eruption, I guess. Yeah, he needs more damage to be able to use that. She could upgrade this, though, which doubles the damage of it. And I think I'm gonna go for the Ice Shard and the Thunderbolt. That way I get the next tier of things. And I'll Lance. Finally, you get an Airstrike. After all this time. Alright. Let's fight more enemies. Hey, look, ice sprites. You know, those things we haven't used yet. I'm sure. Dead. Dead. Fire, fire, dead. Okay, guys, I'm still trying to scan it, so please don't kill it before I get the chance to. Bubble stone, a glowing stone containing the essence of water, rainbow gems, and solid water. Okay, we're still not done with all the enemies in this room. <sighs> so many boulders around here. If only I had the hammer, I could find some cool treasure. The hammer, huh? I guess that's another key item we're gonna need soon. Elementals are pretty tough. Not if that keeps happening. No resistance to poison, so I may as well. Yes, fire on you. Fire, fire, yeah. Not enough. And she's frozen. And now she's not frozen. Cool. Sadly, I never got a chance to scan those because I wasted my chance. Monoliths use powerful attacks once they've charged up, so keep an eye on their status. Uh, Frost Sprite, a creature that embodies the spirit of ice, uses ice attacks. Poison, you say? Uh, I guess I'll use his turn to scan. Viking Monolith, a monolith carved by Viking Spores, uses extreme powerful ice attacks and can buff itself. It's immune to poison, sadly, but it's weak to earth and explosions. Fire, you say? Monoliths seem to only cast magic. I reckon they'll be pretty helpless if you can cast Siphon on them. Okay. Um, move to backup. Airdrop. Good chunk of damage. Earth, you say? That's it? 